You know, I've just been tweeted this this information and we came Jimmy right on the spot right here because that's exactly how we roll here at Chief Rock Entertainment, Chief Rocket TV, where music, fashion and politics collide in association with Trail Vision. We're talking about the fourth annual Toys for Tots. We're talking Hill Harper and Nate Parker who put this fantastic event together and it's just been wonderful. We've had celebrities after celebrities come here. A special shout out to Hill. We thank you so much for that. Nate, we appreciate you so much and all of the rest of the celebrities that are here bringing toys for the youth. It's gonna be fantastic and we bring it all to you right here on Chief Rocket TV. We're into the, the fourth annual. What does this mean for you? You know, it, this is so important because there's so many young people out there and there's so many families uh, that just don't have the resources, particularly right now in these tough economic times. They don't have the resources to give their kids presents. You know, Santa Claus doesn't come down their chimney, right? And to be able to do this on such a scale, uh, this is a big scale event. Uh, you're going to see there's, there's going to be uh, hundreds and hundreds of people bringing toys. And... and um, it's so critical because just think, thousands of kids are going to be able to have a, something under their tree, and and I just it's, it makes me feel good, and and that's what using whatever celebrity you have or whatever influence you have, use it to actually do something with it, and that's that's what we're trying to do here. So all the host committee members, Dulé Hill, Gabrielle Union, Nicole Scherzinger. Nate Parker, myself, everybody that's involved, uh, Omari Hardwick, uh, Lashinda Demas, everyone that's involved is critical. And, and it's just using and doing a good job. And there's certainly more celebrities that are going to come and more people that are going to bring toys. And so I couldn't be happier. Your work has been amazing over the years. Um, you're nothing but a positive role model to all. And you had mentioned a little bit about your book, and I wanted to talk about that briefly for those who might not know about that. Tell us a little bit about the book. Well, it's, uh, I've, I've written four books, and the first one's called Letters to a Young Brother, Manifest Your Destiny. It's a, a motivational book for teen boys, and there's so many young men out there that don't have positive male role models in their lives, and, and they don't have anyone helping them make that transition from, from young adulthood to adulthood or young manhood to manhood. And that's why I, th I think why we see so many issues and problems, um, because there's no one teaching many of our young men how to become real men and what being a real man really is. And so uh, the hope was with the book to be mentorship on paper, um, a, a way to make a difference, you know, um, and, and for them to get information they otherwise would hear if they had that positive male role model in the home. You know, makes sense. Uh, let me take you back, back in the day for a second. Your favorite toy. Oh, man. So many. You know, I used to love, uh, and this is really going to date me, but I'm going to say it. Um, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. You know, that was way before uh, video games, but you really had to make them hit each other. You know what I'm saying? And I really love that, man. I still love boxing to this day. And then he's like, boom, 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 boom. In fact, I'm surprised they haven't done that movie yet. Hmm, an idea. This idea. Sock'em Robot movie. There, there should be a movie in the works. Yeah. Hey, we thank you so much for your time. Continue success. Really appreciate it. Nate Parker here with uh, Q Nice. How you doing, bro? I'm good, brother. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Giving some stuff back. Tell us a little bit about the Toys for Tots. You, you and Hill got together and did some things. Tell us a little bit more in detail about that. Well, yeah, well, about um, four years ago, we had been doing our own toy drive together. You know I mean, uh, separate. And uh, we got together. We kind of ended up at each other's toy drive. We said, why don't we combine our forces and see what we can do, do something big, and every year really try to bring our, our friends out, use our quote-unquote celebrity uh, in a way that will really uh, be beneficial to others. So what's going to be coming up next for you? Oh man, well I have, uh, I have Red Tails coming out in January, January 20th, I um, have two films at Sundance, I have a Spike Lee joint called Red Hook Summer, I have a film called Arbitrage with Richard Gere, 
So uh, it's, it's, I think it's going to be a big year next year. Focus, man. We appreciate your time. Continue success, bro. All right. Thank you. Gloria, how you doing? Good, good. Thank you. It's a little cold, but I'm good. Absolutely. It is a little cold, but, you know, we're, we're all good. We'll make it happen. Yeah, we'll make it. All right. Toys for Tots. Yes. Fourth annual. Um, Hill Harper. You know, those guys over there, really great job they're doing here. Um, how important is it to do an event like this, Toys for Tots? Oh, I think it's extremely important. You know, I think people really forget how underprivileged so many kids in our community are, you know, and I think a lot of people, I mean, although which is great, you know, make sure they, they kind of go around the world and they make sure that everybody, but really we need to focus in our backyard, you know what I mean, a little bit. I think there are so many kids on Skid Row and just in our own communities that are really missing out on the holidays and just the spirit, so I think it's really, really important, and I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of something like this, you know, just giving back to the community. That's good. Let me take you back in the day for a minute. <laughs> we're talking about you and talking about your sister. What was your favorite toy when you were a little girl? Oh, my Lanta. Um, <laughs> what was my favorite toy? Honestly, I was a tomboy. So okay. I would steal my brother's G.I. Joe's. G.I. Joe's. Oh, what? Oh, right. So you wanted to bring it back. I brought it back for you. Now, we would. I would make forts and everything. And oh, yes, I know. Wow. Oh, and you know what else? I'm sorry. I'm really no, excited no, about this. My easy bake oven. Now, I remember that. Thank I you. That. Right? Oh, my gosh. That. And I used to really wow. thought, like, I really thought it really made cakes because my mom would switch them out for me. I know. I'm so <laughs> pathetic. But it was really cool. Now, some people would say that, you know, Legos or Barbie dolls or anything like that what about what about for your sister what was her favorite toy you would say Laura's um oh my goodness she was really into makeup earlier before me you know so I would probably say like makeup and just kind of anything to do with like jewelry or fashion she was really into that stuff way before she introduced me to like that when she started to like me you know she's really <laughs> she's starting to introduce me to that too but um yeah I would say anything like makeup lipstick lip glosses that kind of stuff okay well, will you guys do movies or anything like that? Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm still doing auditions and, you know, still in classes and stuff like that. I have a movie coming out. The, the filming got pushed back to May, but um, I'm really excited. It's a feature film, you know, so I'm really excited to be about that. Yeah, but absolutely, I think feature films is our next step. Back once again with Megan right here. This is Q Nice and out here for Toys for Tots. Tell us a little bit about, we saw you posing up earlier with your, your toys and it was so, so cute. Tell us, let's go back in the day for a second. Oh, you see that? <laughs> let's go let's go back in the day for a second. Tell me what was your favorite toy growing up? My favorite toy. OMG. Um you know, I can definitely say it was definitely some sort of a stuffed animal. I remember my cousin and I, we would always fight over this little dog or whatever, and I was like, no, it's mine. Um, but that, and you know what, as crazy as it sounds, probably a little Game Boy. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of a gamer, so I like those electronics. Tell us about this event. What does it mean to, to have Toys for Tots again this year for our, our youth and our kids? Toys for Tots is just amazing to have because there are so many kids out there who unfortunately they're not able to afford just even, you know, the, the simplest little toy. So to have us all come out here and to support and, you know, be able to provide, you know, even if it's just like, you know, a little bitty doggy like this, you know, I'm sure it's just going to make some, you know, child's heart just melt. So it's very important to be here. Jane by Design. Tell us what's coming up in the new year. Oh, I cannot wait. January 3rd, Jane by Design. It's my very, very first series. It's going to be on ABC Family. I just cannot wait for people to see this. And um, Piranha, the three. Yeah, I told you about that one. That one's coming out, I think, in like February, March. So, got a lot coming out. Q Nice here with Joyful Drake. You look fantastic. How you doing out here with the Toys for Tots? <laughs> Good. I'm excited. I bought a nice little princess Barbie for someone special out there. Now let me take you back a little bit. Tell me when you were a little girl, what was your favorite toy? Barbies, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I bought one. Um, yeah, my dad actually built me and my sisters, it's three of us, this huge like dollhouse and we just played in it with all our Barbies. No, it was over after that. It was over. That, it was just it. So, Barbie. Tell us what's coming up for you next. Let's Stay Together. It's a half hour sitcom. Um, we come on after the game on BET. A new episodes air on January 10th. So, that's right around the corner.
Hey everyone, it's me, Glory Govan from Bass Wives LA. You can you can find me on Twitter at, at GlowGovan or Facebook. And you just caught me at TrillVision.com.